Hi, 친구들. I'm your Korean friend Haley, and today, today, we're going to learn the past tense. Many of you ask me how to change to past tense. I'm gonna teach you in a simple and easy, so you don't have to worry at all. I'm going to teach you the past tense. So let's start. Okay, 친구들. I came back with the examples. But before we move on to the past tense, you have to know one thing, which is 받침. I'm going to teach you the 받침 first. 받침 is the last consonant. Last consonant. So let's look at here. It's 간. This is the first consonant, right? And then this is the last consonant. And last consonant we called 받침. Okay? 받침. You got it? Okay, so let's move on to the examples. So I wrote 노받침, 받침, and 하다. Because there are three types of verbs. Three types of verbs? There are three types of verbs. The first verb is 노받침. 노받침. I'm going to tell you. So when you see the verbs in here, it's 자다. It's sleep. 자다. And when you see the verbs, it all ends with the 다. 다 doesn't have any meaning. The meaning part is only 자 in here. And then only the meaning part is 울. So when I hear 자다, I know it, it's sleep because of the 자. The 다 is the grammar part. It doesn't have any meaning. Got it? Okay, so 노 받침 means when you see the meaning part, there is 노 받침. Okay, good. And let's move on. This is the 받침 verb. And look at here. 다 is just a dictionary part. So let's look at the meaning part. Meaning part is 울, right? 울, look at the 울. This is the 받침, right? So I call this 받침 verb. Okay, and the last verb is 하다 verb. 하다 verb, look at here. It's 공부하다. It means study, study. And 공부하다. Oh, it ends with the 하다. And the 하다 verb's meaning is in here. 공부, 공부. Okay, so I wrote three types of verb, which is 노 받침. And then 받침 verb, and then the last 하다 verb. Got it? Okay, so from now on, I'm going to change these verbs, the dictionary form, to the past tense. So, sleep, slept. Cry, cried. Study, studied. Let's change it. So, let's start with the 자다. If you want to change to the past tense, just write the 자다 first. 자다. 자다. And then, delete the 다. Because it's the dictionary form. It doesn't have any meaning. Just delete it. And then, put double shield and then 어요. Double shield and 어요. And it become 잤어요. 잤어요. Okay? So this is sleep, to sleep. And then it becomes slap. 잤어요. Okay? Great. And then let's move on to the cry. So I want to change to cried, right? So let's change it. First of all, just write 울다. Write the dictionary form. 울다. And then delete 다. It doesn't have any meaning. 다 doesn't have any meaning. Just delete it and then put 어서요. 어서요. And it become 울었어요. 울었어요. It became cried. 울었어요. 울었어요. Okay? Great! And then let's move on to the last verb. Last verb is 공부하다. It's to study. 공부하다. And I want to say studied. And how can I change it? First of all, write 공부하다. 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 And delete 하다. Delete it. And then we're going to put 했어요. 했어요. And it became 공부했어요. It is studied. Okay? 
Great, great job everyone. Now you understand how to change the past tense, right? Great, and then I want to make some sentences. Since we know past tense, let's make very simple sentences. The first one, I want to say I slept. How can I say that? 저는 잤어요. Great, and then I cried. 저는 울었어요. Hmm. And then the last one, I studied. 저는 공부했어요. Okay? Great! Now we know how to say I slept, I cried, I studied. We know how to say that. Amazing, 친구들! Now we know the past tense. This is amazing. I'm, I'm so proud of you, 친구들. I'm so proud of you. You got it! This is amazing. So, 친구들, so today's lesson is still here, and then I hope you understand. And if you can make other sentences with other verbs, please let me know in the comments. I want to see your sentence as well. Thank you for coming to my class. If you want to have more class with me, you can come to koreanhaley.com and you can have more class with me. I have Instagram and TikTok account, so you can come to there as well. Okay, 친구들, thank you for coming, and I hope you have an amazing day, and see you in the next time. 친구들, 안녕!